<laughs> the property name Mount William, uh, Mount William Station, obviously named after Mount William, the tallest mountain in the Grampians there. And if you go back to, I guess, the early settlers, Major Mitchell came through here and discovered this part of, uh, of Victoria and obviously wrote back to the powers that be and said there's some good farming land here. So the Churnside family were the, were the ones that took up the run in about 1842. Uh, initially it was all merino sheep. So they commissioned a wool shed, a big bluestone wool shed in the 1880s and built that. Um, the progression from the merinos were always a big part of it and they continued and then <clears throat> the cattle, um, my grandfather came, uh, you know, uh, got into cattle and uh, through the, you know, end of the Second World War, ran a lot of cattle alongside the sheep here and then some cropping as well. And he bought, um, got interested in Charolais over in France and, uh, and Mexico. And then we've been running Charolais cattle here for over 50 years. Um, so what brought about the, the need for the new shed was, um, as with a lot of these old stations, you've got a big rambling old homestead and we were holding our bull sale right down next to the homestead, um, only, you know, 30, 40 metres from the, from the hedges of the garden there. And so we needed to relocate the sale complex. So we um, decided to move the sale complex up to where the cattle yards, existing cattle yards were, and then meld the whole, whole thing in together. So we had um, basically an all-in-one, uh, you know, cattle yard and sale complex where the cattle would go. Um, and, uh, and it would be, I guess, the, the beating heart of the, of, the, of the cattle operation here. So the shed, um, initially we were gonna move the old sale shed up there and then we realised it wasn't going to be sufficient for the needs so we we undertook a, a, a big new yard design with Tupari and um, designed a state-of-the-art um, cattle yard system there and then there's I guess in this business and it's always been the way with the family is that it's a people thing and so meeting people and the same thing you know came with action because I um, it heard about action and obviously living in the district and you knew they were a shed builder and they built big sheds and, and they had a good reputation but that was as far as I knew so I could have really gone to many different shed builders but I actually met Lenny. I thought this is a you know really really decent guy and, 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 and it's you know from that initial meeting I said to him look if I ever need to do a shed you know I'll, I'll give you a call and it was you know three, three years later or something. Um, made that phone call and and yeah just just from talking to him and seeing what sort of a person he was that that's the service that I received the whole way through with the with the action product so uh, it wasn't a deliver the shed and then run and then you know good luck sort of putting it up it was every step of the way the design and the um, construction the fellows they got to construct the shed were were, were first class. So the whole process was really smooth and I experienced that with Tapari and I experienced that with Action and I think the two of the, I couldn't have picked <clears throat> two better companies to do the project and, um, and I think that a lot of that is to do with the people that run those companies because it's all about the people and you know, the product speaks for itself, it's a very good product, everyone who comes here says this is a very good shed but it's about the process of doing it and the people you, you, know, you, you deal with along the way. And that's how, you know, our family's always done business. I'd certainly um, recommend Action, um, and uh, I guess if you're if you're looking for a um, what do they say a turnkey solution, you're looking for a you know uh, design um, right through to completion, uh, then I think they you know were worthy of, of consideration. Um, I don't know, as far as <clears throat> buying sheds and buying steel and that sort of thing, it was all a new learning experience for me. But I think that the, um, the quality of the steel and the quality of the workmanship and everything, um, it's, it's evident. So, you know, you, you get what you pay for to a large degree. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend, 
you know, action, uh, an action shed to, to anyone considering putting a, a farm shed up or any, anything to, to, to assist in their operations.